Hello YouTube, I'm Mikko Wanza3, welcome back to Spyro the Dragon, the Reignited HD Trilogy, the first game, doing 120% playthrough. This is a brand new recording session and I am actually have changed the settings once again. Believe it or not, we are actually at full quality, I am literally at best in quality, I can't turn this up any higher. Reason why, you know what, I'll talk, it as we, I'll talk about it as we go through the ice caverns. And during the loan screen, I won't cut it out this time, but the reason why I've turned it all up is because I've looked some things up and it turns out the jumps are actually what they call stuttering. My stutters aren't that bad, so I only had to deal with a couple of things. Like I had to turn off some options to reduce like resources that the Elgato is using and change just one or two of the settings. So I should have less resources being used during recordings. So since my stutters, the stutterings I get in my videos are tiny, in fact you'll have noticed at the end of episode 3 of this playthrough, right near the end of the episode, it did stutter. It was a little bit bad, but it only lasted for a couple of seconds. So as you saw, you did see you did see stuttering in the let's play and you know what I'm talking about. Let's just let Auric talk. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. Uh, we'll see about that, Auric. But yeah, so right now this episode itself is once again still a test. <laughs> the entire series is a test. So yeah, just word of warning on that. Now, this episode we are doing three levels yet again. This one, the Ice Cavern. Then we're going to be doing Night Flight, and then the boss of this world, Dr. Shemp. We are going to be getting three trophies this episode. Once in this level, and once in the Night Flight, and once in Dr. Shemp. Dragon! Todor! Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Yeah. Problem is though, we're not going that way. We're actually going to be coming out that way because I want to go this way. Again, it's another one of those things that, to to me, I feel like I get through it a uh, lot easier and less painful. Well, less of the run around. Might virtually skip into the end. Now the ice cavern would have led you all the way around near to the end, but by coming this way you can grab this key. Uh, as you saw, we did go past the chest. The end of the level's right up there, but of course we are now going to go through here. Just wanted to get rid of him. Andor! Thank you for releasing me! Uh, you're welcome. Honestly, I figured they would have gotten rid of all the dragons that would just say that. That was a lot. I think they did get rid of some of them? I'm not sure. I'd have to play through the original game again to turn the dragons from like, uh, cutscene to cutscene. There is one cutscene I'm adding to this on top of another dragon. <laughs> I'll let you see the, the one from this game first, of course. By the way, this is the big one. Very full armor. I believe it or not, those Norks are actually the co are actually part of the trophy. Yeah, you will see as we progress. We're already back here. That was easy. Now let's get that chest. Whee! 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 I've already devolved into just saying we. <laughs> what the heck? Yay! Key. Chong. Okay, now we just gotta move forward. I'm not looking forward to Night Flight, by the way. As you saw from Sunny... Sunny Flights. The flight levels aren't really my favorite. But I think Night Flight... Ah, in my ear! <coughs> Sorry about that. Don't worry. No pain or nothing. I just had this huge itch just appear up out of nowhere. Like one second, a little tickle. Then next second... Oh my god! <laughs> Pretty much went like that. Seriously, I missed those. Hey! 
But speaking of itch, I think it's coming back. Round two, return of the itch. Oh no! Okay, I'm actually going to ignore that dragon, because by going through this cave here, it'll actually lead us out there. So I can just get that dragon and those gems there on the way back. There's our next Nork, and there's the other. Whoa. At least they drop the gems before they fall down. How considerate of them! How generous! Well, bye-bye, and hello! Uh, where is it? Wait, what? Oh, I'm an idiot! That's not them! It's these jerks! Is that it? Yep, there we go, Triathlon! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That one is basically for by beating all the Ski Norks. Not the Armored Norks, the Ski Norks. Ugh. I'm such a dum-dum. <laughs> but either way, you, you saw the pop-up, so you know exactly which one I'm talking about. And even if it was these, I wouldn't have gotten it yet anyway, because there's still this one. <laughs> oh no, Snowball! How does a Snowball hurt Spyro anyway? He's a fire-breathing dragon, for goodness sake. Ragnar! You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? I have to say, I like that smoke coming out of his nostrils. Hello, bye-bye. By the way, there's the end right there. As I said, the cave leads us right to the end. I do have one secret I want to show. It actually gets us over there, believe it or not. It is a form of a secret, and it also gets you straight- you actually can skip from the very beginning of the level straight to the end of the level. I will cut that out going back to the beginning, because, well, it's just a straightforward path. You can't miss it. Dragon! Asher! Thanks for freeing me, Spyro! Now, where was I? You were going away! But that should be all the gems. Yep, 400 out of 400. So I will meet you guys back over at the beginning of the level. Actually, we could just leave? Oh, you know what? Screw it. We'll leave the level and I will cut back in once you see all the gems. So you'll, I'll meet you back at the beginning! Alright, being back here at the beginning, as you see we are fully complete, but if you come up here, then glide over here, there's where those three extra lives are. Yep. So if you ever really need to grind, uh, well actually not grind because that- Ow. I'm not letting you live because of your friend. Okay, I'll meet you guys back in the home world of peacekeepers. By the way, I think I was wrong about how many trophies we were going to get in this episode. I will... I'm going to have to double check that, because I do believe I was wrong, because... I was thinking about this one here, Dr. Shemp. Perfect. But... Mm, I don't want to pause the episode, because I don't want the episode to drag on longer than it needs to be. So, off to Night Flight. This level does have a trophy. Yay. Yeah. So, if there is another trophy that I did miss, I will actually leave it into the begin at the end of the episode. It'll be like an extra add-on to the episode. But if there isn't any, then the episode will just end. So, something like that. Now, I'm not going to get into the trophy just yet, because, as always, let's actually do the level first. This one's actually more of a straightforward path. Kind of just is just laid out right in front of you which way, you, uh, what order you're supposed to do it. But you could sometimes mess up like that. I almost went in the water. Wow. Oh, oh sorry, my vocabulary was wrong. I mean, water. <laughs> okay. So for these arches, and then we gotta deal with the lighthouses. Honestly, this is one of those. Well, no, no. Oh. I really think I might have already messed up because of that. Okay, with that, and this is one of those levels I really feel like I have to be perfect on to uh, complete. But we'll see. 
Two more. Got that one. Last one. I think we're gonna do it. Did it! Almost same clear time as last time with only... My last time I ended it with 1.4. This time I ended it with 1.8. 4 millisecond progress. Now, the trophy, believe it or not, are the fairies in this level. Ah, if we go out here, you'll see this fairy here with an arrow. What you gotta do to get this trophy? Flame them! Yep. You gotta find every fairy. I forget exactly the pattern for it is. I think there's another one over here. I think if you actually just fall, yep, there's there's one here. They look like punk fairies, like punk girls. Now, where's the last one? I think it is. I think there's only three fairies. I remember there being one over here with these houses. <coughs> you technically could have done this throughout the level. Yep, there she is. Are you the last one? Yep, there we go. Hot wings! Yeah! Okay, we're done. Haha, <laughs> quit. Alright, all that's left now is Dr. Shemp himself, the boss of Peacekeepers. Let's do this. This is actually going to be a very short episode. I kind of don't mind it, because that's less strain on the PC, but... Well, I already knew that I was going to have to do possibly a couple of episodes to test to make sure this whole thing works out. I really hope we do not have big issues. Oh, that eclipse. Excuse me. I'll try to mute out that burp. I've not long had my my food. Oh, it's the big mama. By the way, get close. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I honestly thought he hurt me, but <coughs> oh, it's fine. Okay, flame you, big mama. Okay, bye bye. They just run into walls, or. Something else. Whoa! As you saw, that one just literally ran off a cliff. Um, there you go. <laughs> I've actually never seen them bump into walls. I've always thought that they uh, just run right off a cliff. So much fear! That's so scary! And I just killed her mama. <laughs> oh my god. The enemies in this level are pathetic. Okay. Now this is the scariest glide in the level! Oh. I hate that flight. I really do. Okay. Oh no, there is a trophy in this level! That's right, I was right! I remember now! Believe it or not, it actually relates to this key! Okay, the dragon. He's wearing sunglasses. Torndo. Dr. Shemp thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing, he should watch his back. Wow, that's like a very veteran right there, dude. But yeah, that's basically the hint, watch his back, because he doesn't have any armor on his back so basically flame his butt classic comedy style his butt's on fire <laughs> it's hilarious but believe it or not he can sometimes be confusing on what he's going to do okay need oh you're dead Ooh. okay right now. Uh, sometimes he can be confusing on what he's going to do. This last one's normally the easiest, but he can sometimes be tricky. Jump! Flame! Done! Skill points acquired! Hell yeah! We actually perfect the world! First try! It's actually a record for me, I never normally do it on the first try. By the way as well, trophy! 
There it is. What's in the box? Yeah, I don't know why the chest is a trophy. That's a bit weird. I think the perfect Dr. Shemp would be the trophy, but I hate when I do that. What the? I missed this anyway. Uh, but yeah, you think perfect Dr. Shemp would be the trophy. That's a bit more difficult than grabbing a key and opening up a box. But no. It's that. Hey, where am I going? It's actually for here. Whee! Da -da 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 -da. Done! 300 out of 300. Level 100% complete. There we go. That means we are actually done for the episode as well. But we're actually going to end off the episode, of course, in the beginning of the next world. I'm actually half tempted to just keep on recording more episodes, I probably will regret it, but it's not going to make any difference in the end. I'll check out this episode to make sure it went fine with no stutters, if it stutters then I can't continue. Well actually it kind of depends on where the studies were and how bad they are. But we'll see, I'll deal with this video first then probably record more if everything went okay. <laughs> Bye. And with that, Peacekeepers is done! There's the balloonist! Hi-ho! I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure! Thank you! Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready! The Magic Crafters! Bonk! Whee! Again, not cutting this out because it's the main voyage! Yay! I have no idea what to do. <laughs> well, the, the episode's pretty much over at this point. I mean, I guess you could leave now if you want. <coughs> we should be at Magic Crafters any second now. Yeah. There's a balloonist. And as always, pause it before the music starts. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. Oh yeah, next episode we are going to start Magic Crafters, which there are two skill points in here in the level High Cave and Blowhard, which is actually again the boss level. Then we'll have completed the first skill point page of this war of the thing. So hope you've all enjoyed, and in the next episode we will begin the Magic Crafters world. See you.